Here I am, trying to cook something in the office. I chop up some potato, some carrots, mix with chicken and water, add salt. I'm going to cook some soup. I have two cup of soup. Brings to boil for 15 minutes. After that, one cup will be left on my desk throughout the night. The other one will goes into the refrigerator. The next day, I put the one on my desk、uh, into the fridge as well. Wait for the third day to come. Now you might ask, why am I doing such a strange thing? Because I have count the bacteria load of the soup in this process, and I'm going to do a comparison. I sample the two soup at this time point, before cooking, right after cooking, and the second day and the third day. So I have four sample of each soup, and here are the data of bacteria load of each sample. And yes, this is from five independent experiment. A graph will be easier to read. From here, it is not very difficult to see the difference between the soup in the fridge and the soup on the desk. There are huge bacteria load difference between the two, and this is one of the major reasons that we put food in refrigerator even after we have cooked them. The function of refrigerator is to slow down the growth of bacteria, so that our food will spoil slower. Still, some pathogens prefer the coolness of the fridge and can actually overgrow due to the lack of a competitor. So, it is still not wise to put food in the fridge for too long. And that is for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.